Once we do, and by the way, be totally honest because we can't grow. I can tell somebody's going to have fun over there. What's your name, my friend? Chris. Chris goes, do you have an extra five pieces of paper? Um, so, I knew this was going to go well. See, we already have it. Where do you live? I live in Hoboken, but I also oh, cover... Oh, New York. No wonder why. Yeah, New York. New York. I'm done. I got, I got yeah, my cup. I got a little cup. Do you have some? Are you going to have... Do you have oh, some off the top? Oh, she's got some. I, I got, yeah. I got, I, got a couple, I got a couple up my sleeve. Man. I got, I got a little Kelly's New York attitude. She trained me about five years ago, so I could, it's been in the making. That's pretty funny, but it's true. It is true. Some, yeah, like you're taking it. That's what I do with a lot of my my, my kind of like hey, I re, like. Hate to say it, but you you guys have seen people do this, right? That's the worst thing, right? You could ever do in a sales meeting. Never ever do that, right? Always when you walk in, make sure you find a clock. You know. You don't want to ever do this, right? But when someone does it to you, what are they telling you? You're not worth it. Yeah, it's time to go. My time is precious. Would you would you agree? It's uncomfortable to hear things about you that may not be great. That is the only way you grow. It's the only way you grow. It's not all about butterflies and poppies. We make mistakes. Agreed. Does everybody make mistakes? Yeah. Yes. How do we know how to fix them if nobody tells us? It's important to understand that's a huge part of being a leader. When people know they're being manipulated, it doesn't end well for you. Don't manipulate people. You can't be a manipulator is the point. You can't be. And when you try to solve objections by manipulating people, it doesn't work. It's never worked. It never will work long term. So what do we do? We need to handle objections with an offense first mindset, not defense first, offense first. And it was the first time I ever turned down a client for that kind of money. And it was the best thing I ever did. Two weeks later, I got a client better than that, nicer, respectful, valued me. But you sometimes have to walk away. If it's not right and you can't rest your head on the pillow at night, it's not a good thing. Very important guys, as leaders, you want that feedback. You're not intentionally doing it. Most managers aren't intending to be micromanagers. They just want to help. They just want to get you to perform. They just want to be a part of what you're doing, but they don't necessarily know how to do it effectively. Okay? It's not a moratorium on being a bad manager. They just might have never been taught. This is such a great organization to be a part of and that you guys have. But if we all grow a little bit every day, I mean, it's going to be 10 times better. So just take that feeling into tomorrow. What can I do to get better? What's one thing I can implement in my life and make everything around me better? So thank you guys. We'll see you guys in an hour. Thanks, everybody.